Assalamualaikum. In this lecture, I will teach you the using formula in the table. First of all, we'll teach you how can we make on table. First of all, we'll select the range from January to December end. Then we'll go in insert. We'll place in the table. Here is see that here is hidden because I have created table in before. In this case, I have created the table before. For this region, I will directly go on the table. Table design. See that here is showing header row. If I click on the header row, my table header. my table header automatically will appear in the table so if i click on the table any cell and if i go to the name box if i click on the cells table see that table is selected automatically here how can we change or modify the table name directly we'll go in the formula bar and we'll click on the name manager see that here are two table is existing i will select the first term then i'll click on the edit see that here is table name is appear what is the table name sales table 2 so i will click on that name and i will make remain it will be 1 then then i will press okay table name has changed how we can see that see that table name is changed now i will go table design then here is showing total row and banded row so i will click both of them see that here is formula total and formula bar has appeared in this case if i click actual total and if i click on the formula bar see that here are a square bracket is appeared in the table is worked in the table subtotal function worked as a sum function activities how you can understand that easily you can understand just click on the formula bar see that subtotal and 109 after that comma actual actual means the total data of the table click on enter then i will go to the projected total See that here is the same subtotal one zero one and projected means the total data of the table once projected. So see that here is total is sixty eight thousand. Then if I click the click on the all row, here are sixty eight thousand is appeared. In the same way, if I click on the actual and If I uh, if I select on the last, see that sixty-eight thousand five hundred two two is appeared. So this way, subtotal function work respectively. Now I will show the different formulas. If I click on the for total, here is one list is appeared. Here are so many formulas in this list if i click on average see that in the list total average is 5667 if i click on count here are 12 existing data is available for this reason here are showing 12 if i click on 
count number see that the same in the table existing number of data is 12 if i click on max in this table 9000 is higher if i click on mean here is, here is 4000 is minimum value if i click on sum see that the same value is appeared in the subtotal functions i click for the sum but subtotal function worked accordingly then if i click on std depth see that here is std depth formula is appeared again if i click on bar see that total bar formula is appeared after that here are showing more functions you can search the expected formula as you need then you can calculate accordingly so i will put here only sum now i will show you something very special if i put here the name is different then if i click on enter see that automatically on table column is added now in this state in this column i will show you more different and more interesting i will put here equal to then i will select the actual cells row see that one formula is appeared within the square bracket but here is indicate the at the rate of at the rate of is indicate that the same row we are making the we are making the calculations if i select the another row see that here is not appear the at the rate of function so i will i will click in the table same column then i will give the minus sign then i'll go the projected one projected of one also the at the rate of is appeared within the square bracket then i have clicked it automatically all data is appeared in the table so if you if you going to stop the automatically calculation you can click on here you can press the stop automatically creation calculation column stop automatically creation calculated column then if you create the next time in the another table then column will be created but if you go if you do the calculation your result will not come automatically so how you can again if you want to reactivate it then you will go to file then more then you click on option then click on proofing after that select the auto correction option if you select the auto correction of option this window will come up here then click on that it will fixed again so in the lesson if i i will calculate in here the table data so i will input equal sign then i will here some of the table data so i put it the equal sign then i will then i will press sum sum open in parenthesis open in parenthesis if i click the s see that on name is appeared it is the name of the table so if i click on on the table the total data are selected in the table then i close the parenthesis then i put see that the result is appeared the total tables data is appeared so here i showing some of the table column projected data need to find out how can we find out the projected data i will show you okay keep the cursor here input 
same way sum open in parenthesis then type the table name table name is appeared see then put on a square bracket see that list of a list of formula is appeared so i will choose the product it then close the square bracket then put, then put the enter see that in the table projected total is appeared so here sum of the table column in actual we have to find out the same way we'll put the sum opening parenthesis write the table name sales table click double click on the table name put the square bracket find out the actual then close the square bracket press enter see that you find out we found the actual totals here at the rest at the red cell before we had by at the red cell means the same rows any cell you can find out so i input equal then sum click the table name so double click on the table name then press the square bracket here are showing the table total range here if i click in the wall then all data will all data will select it but we don't we don't need the all data delete the the all data press here the square bracket if i select the data then close the bracket see that all data is selected but i don't need the all data i just need the at the rate the, in the same data so but i need at this row so i click on at this row then i will click on project if i close the bracket in the projected same row in the july 5000 is selected if i just enter see 5000 result is coming in here i will find out the total so input equal sum opening parenthesis select uh, click the table name double click on the table name put the square bracket i will select the total to find out so equal to sum opening parenthesis table name double click on the table name square bracket all then close the bracket then i'll put the comma then i will again open the bracket again open the square bracket and finish in the two time then press enter see that we find out the result so this is the 